Wednesday, October 30th, 1968. The Cunard liner, RMS Queen Elizabeth, the world's largest ocean liner, is about to leave on her final transatlantic crossing from New York to Southampton, England. As a ship, the Queen Elizabeth is 1,031 feet long, just a few feet shorter than the Empire State Building, and 118 feet wide. From her keel to the top of the forward funnel is 184 feet. She is 83,673 gross tons in weight and draws 39 feet, six and a half inches of water. The Queen Elizabeth is literally a small floating city, complete with shops, laundry, restaurants, print shop for the daily newspaper, and 35 public rooms, including a big movie theater. Two electric power generating stations produce 8,800 kilowatts, enough power to light an average small city. For the ship has 30,000 electric lights on board, plus 650 electric motors, 700 clocks, and 680 telephones. There are 13 decks, 24 elevators, two indoor and one outdoor swimming pools. She carries 2,089 passengers and a full complement of 1,296 officers and crew. Just the logistics of food necessary to feed that many people on one round trip utterly staggers the imagination. 70,000 pounds of meat, 30,000 pounds of fresh vegetables, 16,000 pounds of frozen vegetables, 25,000 pounds of poultry, 6 tons of fish, 30 tons of potatoes, 300 barrels of flour, 6 tons of sugar, 1,000 crates of fresh fruit, 5,000 quarts of milk, and add to this 2 tons of butter and more than 4,000 quarts of ice cream. And it takes over half a million pieces of glassware China and table silver to serve the 10,000 meals a day. As the last passengers arrive aboard ship, an incredible history of 28 years of outstanding service flash past. The Queen Elizabeth was designed as a sister ship to the Queen Mary so that operating on alternate schedules, Cunard could provide weekly transatlantic express passenger service between Europe and America. In 1940, the Queen Elizabeth made maritime history when, as an untried, untested, and incomplete ship, she made her famous secret maiden voyage across 3,000 miles of submarine-infested waters to the safety of New York's harbor, where construction was finished. For the next six years, the Queen Elizabeth served as a troop transport carrying nearly one million passengers and steamed almost half a million miles to all ports of the world. With the end of World War II, she was released from military service in 1946 and returned to England to be fitted out for the Atlantic passenger service she had originally been designed for. Through her final voyage, the Queen Elizabeth wrote a spectacular record of highest quality luxury passenger service on the North Atlantic crossing, winning new friends and tying ever closer the bonds between the old and new world. There's the final call for all visitors ashore. Incidentally, those whistles you just heard, and there are three of them, weigh one ton apiece. They are tuned so low that passengers aboard the liner hardly hear them, yet their commanding tones carry for over 10 miles. As the lines holding the ship to the dock are cast off, imagine yourself standing at the railings on deck or looking out the porthole of your stateroom as this queen of the seas sails down the Hudson River for the last time, receiving a special bon voyage salute from all of the ships in the harbor. Here is all the color and the excitement of sailing day.
On the navigation bridge, Commodore G.T. Marr is busy guiding the ship safely out to sea. As the skyline of Manhattan grows smaller and the Statue of Liberty is passed for the last time, there is one final salute from the tugs escorting the Queen before they turn back. Listen carefully for the Commodore's orders to the engine room as the ship heads into the open seas. While the Queen Elizabeth was designed for a service speed of 28 and a half knots, she is capable of topping speeds of 30 knots. Located on the sun deck, just below the navigation bridge, is another nerve center of the ship, the wireless operations. From this room's complex array of radio equipment flows hundreds of messages. At any moment of the day or night, anyone aboard the great liner can pick up a telephone and be in contact with the farthest corners of the world. In the late fall, the North Atlantic can produce some rough weather conditions. Three days out of New York on the final voyage, heavy seas with gale force winds were encountered. What you are now hearing was recorded during the height of the storm as the gale force winds whipped with all their fury through the rigging of the upper superstructure of the ship. Deep in the bow below D-deck, we hear the ship plowing through huge waves that sent tons of water and spray over the front decks. Burning fuel oil at a rate of 1,000 tons a day, 12 large water tube boilers supply steam to the main engines of the ship at a pressure of 425 pounds per square inch and a temperature of 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Four sets of single reduction geared turbines with 257,000 blades transfer the 425 pounds of steam pressure into circular motion to turn the four propellers. Two outboard sets are driven by the forward engine room, and the two inboard sets are driven by the after engine rooms. The turbines develop 160,000 horsepower. At this point, you are standing 15 feet below the waterline in what is known as the shaft galley. Here, four steel shafts, 28 inches in diameter, connect the turbine engines with the propellers outside the ship. The rhythmic splashing sounds above the drone of the shafts are the outboard propellers which are directly outside the hull. Each propeller weighs 32 tons and is 18 feet in diameter. In the wee hours of the morning of November 5th, as the Queen Elizabeth nudged gently against the pier at Southampton, hundreds of passengers lined the decks to sing goodbye to an old friend. Today, the Queen Elizabeth is enjoying a well-earned retirement at her permanent anchorage at Port Everglades, Florida, as a major tourist attraction, floating hotel, and convention center. But those who have ever traveled on the Queen Elizabeth have their own particular fond memories of this great ship. Mm -hmm.